Hi, I'm Dr. Jimmy, and today I wanted to talk about a condition that can happen after you get a tooth pulled, which is dry socket. Whether you're about to have an extraction or just want to know more about dental health, understanding dry sockets can help you avoid unnecessary pain and complications. Now, what exactly is a dry socket? So, normally after a tooth is pulled, a blood clot forms in the empty socket to protect the bone and nerves underneath. With a dry socket, this blood clot either falls out or dissolves too soon, leaving the bone exposed. This can be really painful and slow down the healing process. Now, you might be wondering, how can I tell if I have a dry socket? Here are some common signs to look out for. So, one thing is severe pain. This pain usually starts a few days after the tooth extraction and can be quite intense. Second thing is visible bone. You might see that the bone of where the tooth was or where the tooth has been extracted, that might be exposed. Third thing is bad breath or foul taste. Uh, fourth thing is radiating pain, so pain that spreads to your ear, eye, temple, or neck on the same side of the extraction. So, why does a dry socket happen? There are a few reasons for that. One thing is the dislodgement of the blood clot. So, activities like vigorous rinsing, spitting, or drinking through a straw can dislodge the clot. Second thing is poor oral hygiene not following post-extraction care instructions can increase the risk as well. Third thing can be smoking, so chemicals and cigarettes can interfere with the healing and can lead to a dry socket. Fourth thing is hormonal changes, so women taking, for example, breath control pills are at a high risk due to hormonal influences on the blood clotting. And fifth thing can be infections, so pre-existing infections in the mouth can also prevent proper clot formation. Now, if you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more dental tips and advice. Now back into it. How do you prevent a dry socket? Now let's talk about a bit about the prevention of it. So here are a few steps that you can take um, after tooth extraction. So follow your dentist's instructions carefully. Uh, your dentist will give you specific post-extraction care instructions to follow. Uh, it's crucial to adhere to these guidelines to avoid complications like dry socket. This might include using prescribed medications, avoiding certain foods and activities, and maintaining proper oral hygiene. Avoid rinsing, spitting, or using straws for at least 24 hours, because these things can dislodge the blood clot uh, that forms in the socket after the extraction. Um, and instead of spitting, gently wipe your mouth with tissue, uh, or let the saliva flow out naturally. Another thing is try and take it easy for the first couple of days, avoid strenuous activities, Physical exertion can increase increase blood pressure, which may disturb the blood clot in the extraction site. Also, resting and avoiding strenuous activities um, can help ensure the blood clot remains in place. Also, try and brush your teeth gently, so avoid the extraction site. Um, and maintaining good oral hygiene is important, but you need to be careful around the extraction site. So try to use like a soft bristle, soft bristle toothbrush, uh, so you don't disturb that socket. Uh, and try to not smoke or drink alcohol for at least 24 to 48 hours. Um, smoking and alcohol can interfere with the healing process, so smoking in particular reduces blood flow and can contaminate the wound, so increase, which increases the risk of dry socket. And also trying to stick to some foods like yogurt and mashed potatoes, because soft foods are less likely to irritate the extraction site. So just avoid anything hard, crunchy or sticky that might disturb the blood clot or, or cause discomfort. Also try and drink plenty of water, but avoid using straws so staying hydrated is important but the suction created by when using a straw can dislodge the clot so try and avoid using the straw um, and also using an antimicrobial mouthwash if prescribed so if your dentist prescribes an antimicrobial mouthwash use it as directed to reduce the risk of infection this can help the extraction site um, clean and sort of promote its healing so following these instructions can help reduce your chances of getting a dry socket but what if you do get a dry socket? What really happens? It's not something you should really, really worry about, but most important thing is visit your dentist, especially if you suspect that you have a dry socket, contact your dentist immediately. They will clean the socket, remove any debris, and may pack it with a medicated dressing to help with healing and relieve pain. Uh, use pain relievers. Over-the-counter painkillers can help manage discomfort. In some cases, your dentist might prescribe a stronger medication to help you cope with the pain. Also, follow-up care is important, so you might need to go back for additional cleanings, dressings, cha dressing changes um, until the socket heals properly. 
um, it is important to keep these appointments to ensure proper healing and to monitor the condition of the socket. Uh, and the medicated dressing really helps protect the exposed bone and ease the pain. While it doesn't speed up the healing, it makes the condition much more manageable. So healing usually takes about a week, but following your dentist's care instructions will help ensure you get a smoother recovery. Now, maintaining good oral hygiene is crucial, not just for preventing dry sockets, uh, but for overall dental health. So brushing twice a day, flossing daily can help keep your mouth free from harmful bacteria that can cause infections and other dental issues. Also, your diet plays a crucial role in the healing process. Now, here are some dietary recommendations I personally recommend. So most people will be feeling very tender after the extraction, so it's best to stick to re really soft food. Um, that's what I recommend for the first day or two. Any food that require no chewing, yogurt frozen or normal, no food bits or nuts, jello, ice cream, milkshake, pudding, eggs, soggy cereal, oatmeal, and well cooked pasta. And now in the next two to five days after the extraction, you can eat anything that requires minimal chewing, like bread, yogurt frozen or normal again, including the food bits, uh, pasta, noodles, soft vegetables, including hot mashed potatoes, ground beef, chicken, eggs, cheese, soups. And in the next five days uh, after the extraction, you will likely be starting to feel a bit better and try to test your mouth a bit more with different foods. So depending on how easily your teeth came out, uh, it will depend on uh, whether you'll be able to eat the harder, harder foods uh, earlier on or not. Now, if you don't feel comfortable eating the suggested foods, please continue with the previous stage for longer. Uh, might take a bit longer for you to heal. Now, also staying hydrated is another key factor in recovery. So water helps keep uh, your mouth clean and prevent dry mouth, which can uh, really cause pain and discomfort of a dry socket. Um, avoid sugary uh, drinks and sodas as they can promote bacterial growth and lead to further complications. Now, believe it or not, also uh, stress can also affect your healing process. So high stress levels can weaken the immune system and slow down recovery. Try to stay relaxed and avoid stressful situations during the recovery period. Um, and practices like deep breathing, meditation, uh, gentle exercises like walking um, can also reduce stress and promote healing. So when should you really seek help? It's important to know when to seek help. Uh, if you experience severe pain uh, that doesn't go or improve with oral uh, over-the-counter medi pain medications, um, or if you have fever or to swelling that doesn't go down, then contact your dentist immediately. These could be signs of an infection um, or other complications that need prompt attention. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much to sum it up, uh, preventing dry socket um, involves uh, careful post-extraction care, good oral hygiene, avoiding activities that might disrupt the healing process. Um, if, you, if you do, or if you've experienced a dry socket, uh, try to follow it up uh, with your dentist. And remember, your dentist's instructions, uh, if taking care of your overall health, can make a big difference in your recovery. So, uh, have you ever had a dry socket? Uh, what was your experience like? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribe for more dental tips and informations and I'll see you for the next one.